Hey, it's me, Jillian. Welcome to The Conscious Cougar, where it is always about wisdom, beauty, fitness, not necessarily in that order, but any and all of those by any means necessary. Okay? Okay? Absolutely. And today, I think it's all three. We're talking all three by, by way of the dream. The dream. Living the dream. Okay, so what happened was, a simple thing happened, but I realized that it was so freaking profound, I needed to come to you. I'm at the grocery store. I'm at the checkout line. Um, the guy comes to bag my groceries. I'm like, hey, how you doing? And he goes, I'm living the dream. <laughs> it still makes me giggle because he said it so funny. He knew that shit was funny. He knew it was funny. Because he's up there bagging my groceries talking about I'm living the dream. He was being sarcastic. But I immediately saw the power in those words. For a split second, I'm like, what power is he giving? What is he giving power to by saying I'm living the dream? Is he saying that his dream is to be nothing more than? I doubt it. He might think that's what he's saying. But I said to him, you know... That's actually very profound because I'm sure you have a plan that is probably in action and it's probably not to ultimately end up bagging groceries. You probably have a bigger plan, you know, something about your life purpose, maybe. And doing this right here, right now is part of you being able to get to that. So you are living the dream. And then I had another thought later after i mean i left the grocery store and i was just like oh my god if anybody says to me hey yo jillian how you doing I'm, like, I'm living the dream to say i'm living the dream means i am in acknowledgement of what it is that i am creating <sighs> somebody said something it was gonna sound like a sidebar but somebody said something to me one day um that you know if if somebody were to look through the window and view you and just observe what you were doing, how you were spending the majority of your time. What would they see? And that what they would see as the majority of your time is what it would look like you're doing. But I think that if we get conscious about the fact that what we're doing is merely a stepping stone to what we want, that what we are actively creating, there, that's more powerful wording, then we are then living the dream. And so to back up just a smidge, we have to stay conscious that there is a dream that's being lived and not get um, um, bamboozled, um, brainwashed by what you're doing, making that make you think that you're not getting done what you want to get done. I've heard a lot of people, especially around Hollywood, you know, um, be disappointed that they don't have, you know, that that sitcom, that movie that, you know, they haven't hit pay dirt on the thing that they've been chasing for years and whatnot. But, you know, I had the opportunity, the golden opportunity. I brag sometimes because I went on 1.25 dates with Gregory Hines, um, <laughs> the late Gregory Hines. Anyway, um, the one was great. And the 0.25, he's like right now saying, yeah, Jillian, tell him about the 0.25. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But anyway, um, more than one date with Gregory Hines, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm bragging right now. So, I met him at Gold's Gym. It was back in the day when I was going there and he was going there. And, um, and I had a radio show at the time and I invited him to be on my show. And his manager was standing next to him. He's like, yes, you want to be on her show. And that was quite a compliment. But anyway, so he was on my show. And uh, one of the things that he talked about was um, how he started. How he started before becoming an actor singer, dancer, triple threat, okay, um, he was making pizza. He was flinging and slinging pizza. And he said he loved that job, like loved it, loved to go to work, had a blast while he was there, had great memories to share about, you know, the music they'd play while they were making the pizza and the party and they'd do with the pizza after um, work and stuff, you know. And then in between, he would hit his auditions. And one of those auditions was a pay dirt audition, you know, and then the rest is history. 
So he was enjoying himself the whole time. And he didn't have to feel like, you know, just making pizza was belittling his thing. No, it was part of living his dream. But um, to get conscious about the dream is extremely powerful. It's that whole thing about, you know, if you can see it, then you can be it. That's it. Hey, it was a pleasure, as always, and I'll be back soon. Um, I hope you will uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Please click the like button. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And um, that just helps us get around so um, that more people who may need this information can use it. And uh, follow me at my website, theconsciouscougar.com. You can also find me on Instagram, um, at theconsciouscougar. And what else do I want to tell you? I don't know. You're beautiful and wonderful. Have a great day. See you soon.